You got the feel. Seen so many relationships. I am here in Austin with Bipolar Sunshine. Somebody told me that the weather in Austin is bipolar, and I feel like it is. We're dressed for summer, yes. which I love. We are fully dressed for the summer. We kind of all match. Yeah, we're all, we're all in there together. We called we each other before. Very pretty. We do look pretty. We do look pretty. You got the feel. I know you're running, 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 trying to fall. But doubt is what is tearing your world apart. You got the feel. How would you describe your style? I'll say our style is an, um, an eclectic taste of all things good. We try and push forward the emotive sentiment as much as possible. We're not really, we're not really too concerned with genres. People are too concerned with that. We're more concerned with pushing the world towards the emotive sentiment and being free with it. With your music too? Yeah, with the music, with our whole attitude, the whole vibe has to be transcended from one person to the next for everyone to understand it. How does someone from Manchester feel about Texas? Oh, I really like Texas. Um, it's, our, it's our first time in America, so this is all I've seen of it. But it's, it's your kinda, what? It's the first time in America. Stop it. No, it's our first time. Everything's bit, bigger and better here, right? It is. The it's portions. Massive. The and... food's massive. <laughs> Everything about it is good. So we've been fully in, enjoying ourselves. I've seen you from a distance, so I, I don't know if it's strange, but I. I feel I need to know what's on your mind So I just drift over and glide Cause we talk, we talk, we talk, we talk hey. And that's enough for now and now go Okay, and let's talk about drowning butterflies. Okay. I love, I think you've talked about how it's sort of like the story of the song and how yeah. uh, it sort of came about. You said you were partying and it was like five in the morning yeah. and you were sort of thinking about like this is sort of a something about your life. You were reflecting on your life. Yeah, I was kind of just sometimes, you know, you have those like really wild house parties and then you're, you know, it was fun at first and then you realize at half five, half six that, you know, like. Is this the one? Is this the really, That's really 5 30. 5 30 a.m. <laughs> in the morning. In the morning. And sun you is sat up. there and your sun is up and you're just thinking, you know, is this really what it's about? But in a strange way, you kind of like draw towards it and you still enjoy it because that's why you still put yourself through such like traumatic ordeals of an evening where it just absolutely just goes a bit haywire. But that's the whole motive of Drowning Butterflies. Do you always agree on, on music? Do you always agree when you're writing together? I think we meet at a point. Yeah. That's the best way. Is that you gotta allow everyone else to have their creative input and not to get in the way of it. Because if you respect what they're doing, you know that they're gonna be adding the right elements, and you don't have to keep questioning. And what, what does doing. drowning butterflies actually mean? Drowning butterflies is is what we're it sounds, saying. It sounds sad and pretty all at the same time. That's what it is. It's it's same same way the name. It's just having to look at yourselves and think as human beings we are beautiful species but you know are we doing some things to to destroy ourselves and that's kind of the whole basis of the song and how I was feeling at that time at six o'clock in the morning lying on someone's floor looking at everyone else lying on the floor after talking about a wild night because I know your trouble and I like it I like it because you know I'm troubled too and it takes one to know one And I like it Yeah, I like it, I like it, I like it Cause it's true And what would be like, because this is your first time in America where, What would be one city you'd want to hit Other than Austin? What's the next, what's the next stop? LA That's where we're from Yeah, so I mean, we're coming over but so That's the whole aim of the game We're gonna go to LA New York it looks pretty cool You so. seem to sort of go with the flow Is there a goal though? Yeah, the aim, the aim goal is as any artist should be, to be as big as they can possibly get. Yeah. And the first and foremost is putting out great music, music that we're that we're proud of and that we can that will stand the test of time and not be worried about like, oh, what type of things it needs to fit into. I think if you put out good music, then the the right things will happen. Who do you think you. is doing it right? I mean, who out there is doing it right? I I think Beyonce, Beyonce is doing it well. She's doing it well. Kanye is doing it well. I think Rick Ross's new album, he's doing it well on. 
even Lorde. Lorde. I think Lorde's yeah. stuff that she's come with, that's powerful. Rascal flats all day, every day. I partied with him once. Is it? Yeah. Say. You're a legend in my eyes now. Yeah. <laughs> and it takes one to know one, and I like it. Yeah, I like it, I like it, I like it, cause it's true. And no, oh, darling. And oh, darling. And oh, darling. And oh, darling.